Experts tonight are saying the Horseshoe Casino in Cincinnati, the construction site, was safe before Friday's accident and will be even safer in the future. That's because of an agreement with the casino and OSHA that let Messer Construction do self-policing on safety. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is here with the story of what that means. Tom? Well, Tanya, tonight we're still not sure when the work is going to resume at the job site. That's up to Messer, though. In the meantime, state federal safety officials are combing the area of Friday's collapse looking for anything they can find to determine the cause. Those in the know have called the accident a fluke, and it's, not li and it's likely due to structural problems. Investigators in yellow safety vests were the only occupants of the casino site on Monday. Their findings aren't out, but one industry insider says he has an idea of what they'll say. My conclusion is, is that this is a fluke accident. John Morris is president of the Associated Builders and Contractors, which represents 300 Ohio and Kentucky construction firms, including Messer. I've had uh, many members of our companies call us up and say they, they think it might have been a structural steel problem. The casino was due to open in about a year, but Messer officials and Morris both say that deadline is not pushing safety aside. Messer Construction is an outstanding firm. They, they first and foremost lead all their projects on, on the quality and the safety of their employees. They're never going to sacrifice their employees for the sake of a timeline. In fact, in October, Messer and OSHA announced a deal to let Messer supervise its own safety issues. When you have a voluntary protection program, when you have an agreement with OSHA for projects of this sort, it essentially means that you are voluntarily policing yourselves, you're setting yourself to a higher standard, and you're welcoming OSHA at any time. Meanwhile, Cincinnati's fire and police personnel were praised for their work Friday. The response to this emergency was textbook. And I just want to say congratulations to our safety team. Mayor Mark Mallory said firefighters and paramedics overcame some serious challenges to get to the injured and get them to hospitals. And it really should give people comfort that in times of emergency, our public safety team is ready. Now one change from Fire Chief Richard Braun that helped at the scene was every piece of fire apparatus is now staffed with a paramedic at all times. All th 13 of the injured workers are employed by Jostin Concrete Construction, only one remains hospitalized, and he's in serious condition at Bethesda North. Brendan, Tanya? Tom, thanks. It